What's up? What's up? Welcome to another stream. Uh, I'm Seneca X. Uh, we are doing, or uh, well, I am doing, another first impression. And this is going to be my third first impression video. Um, what we, what I do is, uh, I go through a game and uh, most of the time, just explaining what I see and what I like and what I don't like, and just, just basically giving you guys my opinion of the game. And uh, it's up to you guys if you like the, uh, like the game or not. Um, it's no, it's not a, a promotion promotional video or anything. It's just me giving my first impression of the game, just to give you a taste of what it, the game might be. Uh, it's called Ancient Enemies. We're playing. It's an indie game developed by Grey Alien Games. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, card base and RPG, which is uh, kind of cool. I like RPG. I like card. Uh, deck building and stuff like that. If you enjoy the video, you can give me like uh, comments about it and stuff like that. But you know, it's just there to to show some uh, show the game what it's about. You know, uh, so let's go straight into the game. Um, looks, let's check the options. Always check options. Get to see what's available, what you can change, what you can't not. Uh, you can just lower the. I lower the music really low because the music is extremely loud. I don't know why. It's, I, it's one thing I dislike about indie games is like they always have their music blast at really loud. So I reduce it to like as low as I can possibly bear. There's not much room of customization in options, which is sad, but it's too expected. Uh, I'm gonna show you. They can go. At least they got the basics. That the most uh, most basic stuff is sounds full screen borderless you can also show blood and stuff but it's not much it's very bare bones on the options so let me just go straight into the game oh wow so there's no intro we just go straight into selecting a chapter so we're going to try normal inventory what's this oh you can really check out your your whole list I don't know if this game has roguelike elements. But it feels like it does. Okay, cool. Awakening. Awakening. When I woke, there was no light. I am the mage. <laughs> Look, Fabergast. <gasps> oh, I forgot my per uh, my wallet. Oh god damn it. Days passed before I could pull myself from what from that wretched darkness, I emerged ragged and bearded from the ruins of our home, the citadel. Only then, finally, did I understand. All was lost. Our enemy had won. It was impossible to tell how much time had passed, but my people were gone. Okay, so even though there's no when you press play and uh, start, there's always like some kind of cutscene intro. You don't have that, but at least they're explaining uh, in detail what, what's happening. So the thing we know so far is I'm some guy who is an ancient guy who lived many times before. He got, I don't know, stuck in time maybe. <laughs> I'm just making crap up right now. I, I fast forward in the future, the enemy has won the war now I'm the last man standing and I'm like I forgot my wallet and my house <laughs> all the lands have been emptied and our civilization rose collapsed behind sorry I'm reading this wrong rose collapsed back into nature villages returned to scattered rock those were already mere suggestion between the woodland now only one path remained the path of the enemy I reached out with my mind to where the great evil is still aboard. Insane and gloating amidst the ruins of our world. So I like the writing. The writing is nice. It's not cliche. I guess the story is kind of cliche, but but the story writing, the the dialogues for the character, is it's descriptive and uh, it's interesting to read. I must summon my strength. My mind, fogged by years of unnatural slumber, reels at this reality. Can I regain the distant powers that I wielded long ago? I failed my people once. Would I do so again? Oh, cool. 
okay this is weird so I actually I looked at this game before and I was like well, this game is weird I think what they have is solitaire it's a card game but in order to gain resources you have to play solitaire <laughs> which is kind of weird okay let's see try to remove any cards as many as possible Three, four, five. Draw a stock card. There are no more playable cards. Do you need to draw a new card? Seven. You started a combo play. Combo by playing six cards in a row. Combos can earn you more power. You keep going as long as possible. I have four. There's no freeze. That power gathered this hand. <laughs> so I'm a mage playing solitaire, okay. <laughs> well, what do I do now? What? Well, perfect. Perfect! Okay, that was a weird start. Okay, next one. I promise you, we don't just play solitaire. <laughs> Some glorified solitaire. Distillation. Everything abandoned, and yet there is a figure on the road ahead. Brother, oh brother, let us meet and speak of this mis what misfortune has befallen our sweet Marcia. Mercia? I think that's the city, country. Something snarls beneath the ragged hood. It, if it had once been human, it is no more. This poor creature is hollowed out by a maligned, maligned power with a grim determination. I remember my purpose. Okay, it, it looks just like a normal dude already. <laughs> He's saying that this this guy is um, no more lifeless inside this guy, but it, looks, it just looks like a human bad, a bad guy, a criminal. I don't have any new spells, so it's fine. Alright, let's get the solitaire fight on the road! Charge your action by removing card with the corresponding suit. Pay attention to the enemy's next action and attack or defend accordingly. Enemy action gain one per charge per turn. Wait! So he's using flaming eye core. Horrible item, scorch enemy for five physical damage. Wait, what? How does scorching do physical? Okay, never mind. Plus f combo bonus. Never underestimate the extraordinary power of the cleansing flame. So he's gonna do five damage. I can protect against five. This card isn't charged. Okay, I can defend. I think that. Def can I at least look at it, please? I need to get five blues out of this zero. I can't start with zero. One, two, what? I gotta start with the yellow ones. Start with one. I can count upwards and downwards. <coughs> One more point. There's no six. <coughs> Five. Charges. I got three charges. I can only do this three times. Blocks five physical damage for one turn. The purpose of a mage is to change the world. But first, he must survive. Oh, and that's charges how much it costs to cost it. Slash for free physical damage. <laughs> Extra jigged enemy.
Zero. Five health! Wow, I just realized how much health I have. Loot. Oh, I get to loot cards. Do I choose only or do I get this? 20 power screaming skull removes a targeted playable card. We stand upon a landscape of bones and their rage echoes through it. Pride Pyre. Magic attack. Rose for five magic damage. Let the infernal fires serve you. They are the loyal mouth in which they which will always feed. That vanquished creature had once been a son of my people. How does he know that? <laughs> I was certain, a descendant of one of these peaceful villagers. Dehumanized by the hand of the enemy. I will be resolved now. There must be blood. This guy is... <laughs> How does he know? And who is the enemy? Did we find out? Drag the fire. Okay, we got magic spell damage. So you can only carry one defensive spell, one fire, uh, magic spell, and one a physical card. And it's also to get free gear and then you get active abilities. And that's my tree. Unearth mage. Cool, 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 cool. Of the recall. I mourn my lonely road, but I would give to see a friendly face or to receive a kind gesture. Yet I take solace in nature, the sound of running water, the flicker of birds lively among the blossom. Over and again, over and again, I reach for the moments before the end. How did I come to be trapped beneath the ruins of my home? Why would the enemy leave me? The most implacable, implacable, implacable? Defender of my people, free to work this earth again. I'm, I don't know. For some reason, I'm I'm thinking I'm saying that that word wrong. Thoughts flick around me like insects in the light. I am missing something, but what? useful items hidden under cars to aid you on your journey. Hello! Screaming Skull. Use this active ability to remove targeted playable cards. Kinda of like a limit break. Just 27 stocks card remaining. I do this. I unlock that deck of cards. Six, seven. I destroy eight. <laughs> Not bad. So this is there's, this is a stage where there's no monsters, and you just have to search for loot. It's kind of weird. Like solitaire mode is like the quiet moment where there's no monster to fight, you just do some solitaire. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of solitaire. <laughs> ah, sh C -c 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 Combo! Throw this bomb in his jewels. Try out the next enemy. I don't know why I call it solitaire. Maybe it's not solitaire, but it feels like a solitaire. <laughs> that's a. I think that's a jack of all trade card, like Joker.
The worm cloud. Come on. Perfect. Okay. There's six rounds of this. Oh my god. Alright, please tell me we're gonna fight something. It's a pig with mushroom on its head. Alas, not even our na natural world remains untainted by the enemy's hand. Even now, the creature's hungers and loathes the human form. I must fight to protect myself, as I once tried to protect these lands. So, these names are very vague. They just, you got the enemy, and then you got the mage. It's like, pretty straightforward stuff. I like the writing though, the, the writing is pretty nice. I got a bomb. I'm guessing it was one time use. Fight! one six damage he flipped Refresh tableau cards. I think so. Five, four, three, <coughs> two, one. So the yellow is physical defense and the blue is magic defense. Seven. Seven. Four. He's gonna do magic def uh, de defense. He's gonna do physical defense. He's dead. I think it's a pretty simple game. I thought it would be more complex, but it's really simple. 
In normal difficulty, health persists within chapters. If you lose too much health in a fight, click reach by hand. Okay, cool. So, on hardcore mode, you don't regenerate your health every fight. So, the, this reminds me of a puzzle fighter game. Oops. Like puzzle, puzzle games that uses visual method of playing the game. Perhaps if I can find enough of these places of secret strength, I can be the man I was so long ago. Play. Two, three, four. No, four. Two, three, two. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Zero. Nine. Eight. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know what these power things are. I think they're supposed to be XP. So if there's no more card that you can do combo with, with the card that is shown here, you have to draw from your deck. So, no card, no card, seven, six, five, four. Card, seven, six. Card, or card, or card, or card, two, zero. And if you get, if you draw all of your deck cards in your deck pile, you lose, or maybe just get bad grade. I don't know. I seem to be getting free start all the time, so I must be really good at this game. Another one. The mage, my heart tremors. We must visit these places on the festival days. Be decked with garlands. My lover's hand in mine. Priests and sorcerers once communed with the living world and drew both power and sorry, wisdom from the fabric of the universe. Perhaps I can too get, can gather a splinter of what remains. <laughs> I'm trying to do some bullshit um, voice acting. I got two worms on my disposal. I don't know if that's like one time use. So I'm starting with the card six. I need to get seven. Let's start off with seven. I need a six. I need a five. I can go back to seven. And I can go to 8, so I can go back to 7, or go to 9, go to 9, open this door. Uh, I can jump to 0, and then start off at 2, 1, and then 2, 1, go back to 1, go back to 0, and go to 9. Uh, 8, go to 8, I can go back to 9. And then I'm at 9, go to 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, uh, it's the worm card. Four, 
five. Six. Um, That's it. That's the highest combo I can do. Another bandit with Devin Hoodie this time. <laughs> More of these ravaged creatures await me. They are scavengers, which gives me hope. Okay, <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to think of an, a voice I can do for a mage. That I might meet one of those that they scavenge upon. <laughs> I don't know. Fight. So we're starting at four. I can go to three or I can go to five. Hmm, I think I'll go to three so I can go back to two. I can go to two. I don't see a four. Let's go three, two. There's no one. What is that purple card? I can't remember what that purple card is. Um, I need a one or a three. I can destroy this card. Oh no, it's not the card I wanted. That's fine, I was just gonna blow the crap at him. So it does scorch enemy for 5 damage and plus combo points. So I got 75% combo point. Let's see how much damage. Kaboom! 9 damage. This guy is easy. We got 8, 7, don't know what, recharge card. Oh, that was a bit pointless. Actually no, it recharges my item, so it's actually pretty nice. Uh, we go for six, five. Oh no, no, it's not four. No, there's n that's not the card I wanted. So let's just hurt him as much as we can. He's dead, actually. Oh wait, this only does three damage. Are you serious? Called healing elixir. <laughs> That's cheap. <laughs> wow. We got destroyed. This is easier than uh, Beedrill, to be honest. My spite. I got the power of ice now. Another antagonist blocks the road ahead of me. A hulking, swollen form that I recognized as once having been a fey creature, one of the spirits of the deep outer forest and mountains. Once such a beast helped us in our struggles, but its form has been corrupted, and I will receive no aid from it like now. To battle! <laughs> Click this button to see the enemy's resistance. So he's resistant to fire, so I should use ice. That's what the game is telling me. 
So, the gear items, they are one time use because I used that grenade. I don't have the grenade no more. Abilities, they, they stay forever, but you can only use them once per mission, per fight. Unless you get a card that recharges it. Wait! Those are free cards. I'm starting with six. Six, and then I need to go to five. Five, and you go to four. Or six again. Six, and then five again. Oh no. Are you serious? This one's a little bit difficult. Oh, this oh, he threw a grenade at me. So I'm starting with a two. Two. Zero. Let's use a worm card. Yeah, these worm cards, they're, they're, you, you can gain worm cards, but once you use them, you don't get them anymore. I mean, you don't get them back. They're like extra dice. Hmm, where should we start? Let's start at two, three. Kill himself. So, one key unlock. <coughs> He's going to attack me for nine damage. Uh oh. Five. Where's your five, bro? <coughs> oh my god, he heals so much. And three, four, <coughs> four. Oh. No fives, oh god. I don't like this. Just gonna end turn. Nine, <coughs> eight, seven, six. He's almost dead. Might as well just finish him off. He's maybe attacking me. I got Aspen Mirage. Block five magic damage for one turn. Wait, what? There's a little better sign of an awful method of the enemy than the corruption of being like the Fae. They were once gentle, strong creatures seeking to heal the rift between man and the natural world. Now nothing more than monsters. I have gathered so much strength and absorbed the wisdom of the land. 
But which fundamental truth will I unlock? What's this? So I get to choose. Shake for physical damage, debuff enemy attack if combo 10. Inflict magic damage based on the last played card, numbered cards. I'm confused. On the last playing cards, what does that mean? So if it was 9, pressure is there in all its power if you can simply grasp it. There is no reply to the earth beneath your feet, nor means of flight. Warp. Wrap the natural world around you, mage, and nothing will be impossible. Hmm. I think I'll go for earthquake. But oh, it costs you spirits. It costs you spirit points to buy those spells. Got another Willow Wisp. Shuffle playing field cards. The Perfidious fairy flight of the swamp serves any who dare to master it. Counter. Counterattack. 10% to counterattack if health is below 50%. You want extra damage if health is below. I don't get it. This one is different. Oh, this one defends magic, and that one defends physical. It's kind of weird that you can only choose one. Unused guess. So we're now in chapter three. I remember the bloody day I marched down these time-worn paths to take the fight to our foe, my family at my side. This time. I walk up, I walk them alone. Already I can hear the evil at the end of this road, a harsh, distant voice echoing towards me. I knew this village. It was filled with life and love. Now strange, hulking things stalk the mis misted valleys, without even the cry of a bird to pierce their silence. There is a humanity here, but it is broken thing. These mindless bandits, unable to even to utter their demands and the twisted creatures that they prey on each other in the woods, all shall fall to my blade. To be honest, yeah, it's kind of weird, they're just reusing bandits. It's got the same pose, they just put a different colour cow and then give them different weapons. <laughs> just touch them a little bit. I kind of wish they just should have just made them into zombies because they sound like they're supposed to be just zombies. And then they didn't have to like change much for zombies. I guess they don't want to go for the zombie brute. Uh, let's see. Is, is resistant to lightning. 50% to resistant to slow. Uh, let's choose earthquake. The spells themselves, they don't have much difference between them. Like, my earth spell, my ice spell, my fire spell does all the same thing, 5 damage. But, um, earth spell has slightly different, which is, has um, a bonus if you reach to 10 cards combo. Defeat enemies faster to earn more stars. I have to earn it. I had to kill her in four times. No, no, no. Bam, bam, bam. So I'm starting at one. So let's go two. Key unlock. Worm card. Two. One. <coughs> uh. I don't really want to waste this. He's gonna use a potion already. He's got two extra action next turn. I'm gonna do five damage. I need a three. Let's get rid of this. Three. 
go for four, but I won't be able to go five. But there's no five. Let's go. Anyway, it's the same. <coughs> four. Five or six. No, it's a five or three. Can't reach any of these. Oh my god, I didn't help at all. Let's reshovel. <coughs> Five, six, <coughs> seven, eight. No nines. No, there's no nines. Finish her off, maybe. He's gonna do. He's gonna do dodge, block full physical damage, or dodge for an item. I fully charge. You stat man? Not cool. Six. There's no seven. We shovel, please. I just need to hit her once and I'm done with her. Three, I need a four or a two, three. Four, please. Oh my god. Great, not perfect. No, oh, took too long. I can't be asked to go back. So, so far, the game's been pretty easy, pretty straightforward game. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. Uh, I can see you can get a few enjoyment out of this if you like uh, I, I don't know if you can call it solitaire but like solitaire kind of card game instead of using beedrills or dice rolls there's been lots of these type of RPG and it's kind of nice to see something fresh and different and I like the writing in this game the writing in this game is, is really well written even though the story is pretty straightforward Did I do that? Six. Three. Two. One. Three. Four. Five. Think. Come on. Oh my god. One, two, three, two, one. You discover passive ability. Don't forget to equip the card. 
Zero. Oh no. Seven. Six, five, four, three. No, there's no two. I think I'll be able to keep playing this. <laughs> I'm already getting uh, burnt out on this. Already. this. The gameplay doesn't change. But it does get harder though. There's more thing obstacles in the way. This enemy deals magic damage, so you should equip the suitable defense. In terms of flexibility of changing your equipment, it's pretty basic as well. It doesn't really bring it much excitement for me. But, ooh, I got a new spell, but it's just pretty much the same thing. So if I get 10 combo, I can slow. If I get no combo, I just do 5 damage. So, I, I shouldn't use fire, I shouldn't use lightning, I shouldn't use bleed. But he also uses magic damage, so I think he switched to magic defense. What is the, the plus one undo adds extra undo when combined with the hair. A hungry wolf is all the more daring, all the more cunning. He's already gonna use fire. Six. Oh my god, I don't even have a card. Five. Where's three? God damn it. I don't have three. Give me a three. I need a four now. I need a five. Oh, oh my god. No. Circles, it's all zeros. <laughs> Alright, so I got one, I can go for a zero. Which one should I go? The next one's three. So let's go for this one. Who 
c c combo card and power so that's pretty much it guys the game just repeats over and over again already I'm gonna get bored of it because it's it doesn't change up or anything and but the game is all right I mean it's it's nice for a couple of games and taking a break and then a couple of games uh, I like the writing in this game uh, but there's not much you can say about the game I mean it's a game about cards that you need to go up and down on the numbers and then when you've been a stock of powers you unleash it on your enemies to do damage and you can customize the card that you choose but the variety of change is very small it doesn't make it feel enjoyable maybe there are spells at the early um late in the game that is much more interesting to look at or or i mean not look at i mean like just being more powerful and more destructive and cooler I guess but the animations is not there so you don't really get to see uh, the effect as cool that you would expect but it's an indie game and it's, for indie game it's really nice it's really good uh, made, uh, well, well it's, it's, it's a good I guess it's, it's well made I'm trying to say and and I liked it for about 30 minutes and then now I don't want to play it no more. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but it's all right, I guess. But I enjoy. It. I think the one part I'd enjoy the most is reading the dialogues. Then I, I am playing the games, unfortunately. But yeah, but that's the end of my first impression of Ancient Enemies. Thank you guys for watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.